Hey, welcome back to my apartment. Today I'm gonna to be talking about small space storage hacks. I wanted to make a quick video walking you through some of the small space storage hacks that um, we have learned and implemented in our own apartment. Uh, if you haven't seen my tour already, you can click this link right there and be brought to it. But the quick 101 in an apartment is we live in a studio. It's about 480 square feet. Um, we live in San Francisco. We love our space, but it's small. It's very small. We've been here for about five years and we have had a lot of trials and errors about how to properly store things in a way that makes sense for both design and function. So I've learned a lot of lessons. I'm gonna walk you through my favorite storage hacks for my fellow small space peeps. Okay guys, so the first thing that you must have if you are living in a small space is a coffee table that doubles as storage. I know that those cute, like, dainty coffee tables like this look great. They look great, but those are definitely made for homes that have a lot of basement storage and closet storage, not for studios. So what I love about this coffee table, I found this on Facebook Marketplace a few years ago, is open it up and look at all the storage. Let me move this down for you. So as you can see, it is this huge, huge like catch-all for a bunch of random stuff. So in here we keep our candles, um, our blankets, book, random cords, just kind of a bunch of random stuff. I think we also have our blow-up mattress in here too. So we've like we fit a lot of stuff in here. I was researching coffee tables like this. You can find some at places like West Elm, but they run pretty expensive. Like I'm talking like over a thousand dollars for something that looks like this. Instead, you know, once quarantine is over, hop onto Facebook Marketplace. I guarantee you that within a couple days of checking it, you're gonna find someone near you who is selling something like this. I got this for I think it was $75, just Venmo'd her, picked it up. Everyone who lives in a small space needs a coffee table like this. To extend on the idea of the coffee table, another example is um, things like your TV stand. So we just picked this up randomly at Ikea five years ago. Um, it is just a basic like table, there's no under storage, no drawers, but the first thing that's on my list to do once we're allowed outside again is to find a desk and use that as a stand instead or something that has drawers that we can pull out because I would love to be able to tuck smaller things here like papers, art supplies, um, literally anything with like the space that's kind of wasted here. Because of the way that our apartment is kind of laid out with our like outlets and stuff, we can't have a hutch that extends all the way to the ground. Otherwise, I would, I personally would grab one that I could use this space for storage. So if you're like me, opt for something like a desk instead, so at least you can get that little drawer. The second half is to find pieces of furniture that double as fun decor and storage facilities. So finding that mix of design and function. For example, here, my beautiful pink locker that I love so much. Um, this is another thrifted piece found on Facebook Marketplace for $20, you guys. It was gray, I spray painted it pink, and now it's this awesome accent in my studio. So it adds this bright pop of color that just makes this whole space kind of come together in a super fun, like, boho way. But it also has 16 different units that they go pretty deep as you can see. So I think it's about a foot deep. Um, and we have, we store so many things in here from like random beauty supplies, my laptop, like extra electronics. Up here we have stuff that we use maybe like once a year but we still want in reach. So many things. So that's what I love about this. Another example of finding pieces that act both as decor and function are baskets. So I'm a huge fan of baskets. I think that they add nice touches of like texture and color to an apartment. So this one right here is this beautiful like red and orange pop of color that's fun to look at, but it's big enough that it stores of random towels, um, my computer charger, other sort of electronics. All right, my next hack actually brings me to the kitchen. May I borrow the kitchen for a second? Ooh, yes. All right, so maybe I should have organized this before showing you, but you know what? We're all friends here. So this is our spice rack. My third tip is adding height to places that didn't have height before. So for example, we have this spice rack that these are little plastic things that I found on Amazon, I think, for like $20. And all of a sudden we can fit spices under and over and we instantly basically doubled that, that cupboard space. 
Another example is back behind me. This rack did not come with our apartment. We, well, we had to hire a task grabber to install it because we're not handy at all, but it added height. So we're able to store some stuff up there and hang things down. So we instantly got more storage space for our kitchen utensils. I think he's making a cake, so I'm gonna get it out of his hair. So another example of the adding height where there wasn't height is here in our bathroom. It's a little backlit there, sorry. We have added this behind the toilet shelf. So before it was just nothing was right here. Um, and we do have this windowsill up here, but it leaks whenever it rains, so it's not a great place to store stuff. So gotta love apartment living. So we added this, I think this was about $100 from Target and it's really nice because I was instantly able to add three new shelves to this and I, I use this shelf all the time by setting things on it. It kind of has expanded into my counter space because again with our rental unit we don't have any counter space so this is now my counter space. Twyla, stop playing with plastic. Cats. My last tip is to use the space behind your couch for storage. So we have even more blankets. This actually is sort of like a cat bed for Twyla and as you can see we have some chairs. I'm gonna talk to you over here because I'm too backlit over by the couch. There's too many windows. Um, but as you saw, um, if you have a couch that pushes up against a wall or in a corner, don't waste that space. So um, we personally have some extra pillows and blankets back there. We also have a set of chairs like this. So this is like a sneaky, like two in one hack. So um, I think of things that a lot of people struggle with when they are living in small spaces is they're like, well, I want to have guests over. Like, where are they going to sit? And instead of like buying extras, like seating and chairs, which honestly just take up space. It's just me and my husband here. We don't need extra chairs out all the time. We've seen how small the space is. Like we could, we do have space for another sitting chair, but it would just be in the way. So when guests come over, we pull out these guys. I actually film all of my YouTube videos on this. So I found these on Amazon, again, for like $50. I picked the cute ones because I like the style of wood, but you can get them in any, any sort of style. But yeah, you just, boom. Made, made seating. So these tuck really well behind couches. They can also go under the bed. Honestly, they could go under your coffee table. Um, they're pretty small and they're easy to tuck flat or upright like behind things and it really solves that problem of what do you do when you live in a small space and you want to host people but you don't necessarily have the seating so boom you can magically have seating and again i highly recommend that you use that space behind your couch it's just wasted unless you put something there you know what I'm already sitting down, so I'm just gonna close out the video here. I hope you found this helpful. I'm gonna be doing more home videos. Uh, you know, we're here in quarantine, we're here a lot more, but we're also about to start a kitchen makeover. So again, we live in a rental unit, um, and we're gonna be trying our best to give it a little makeover and taking you along that journey. So um, if you like these videos, make sure to subscribe um, so you never miss a video. You can also follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of home decor inspiration and my cat. Again, make sure to check out my apartment tour video if you haven't already. I'll also link my apartment tour blog post down below where I've linked some of the things you've seen, like this wallpaper back here, this is from Target, so that's in that blog post. Um, if you have any questions, drop them below. I hope to see you around the Whimsy Soul community.